argued about proposed new voting laws, but the debate is more than just a decision on how senators are elected. Once passed, the laws could clear the path for a possible early election, although some government members believe a July poll could be simply too soon. The upper house debate over Senate reform isn't always pretty. What a tantrum from the Greens. What a tantrum from Senator Xenophon. They're debating the bill making it more difficult for independents to be elected. But there's been sub-arguments on subjects such as same-sex marriage. Senator Martin, the coffee team. Boring. Yes, the facts are boring, aren't they? It is about getting rid of the crossbreed because we are exposing the big party for what they really are. Okay, so you've got two stories going here at the same time that's really not a good idea i mean you got a massively important thing massively important topic like uh, uh government making new laws again they're out making new laws and did the, anybody in the public know about this is anybody aware that they were making these laws i don't think so but they're in their back um their back rooms there um conniving and snickering and trying to figure out a way to establish power by one fuck one group and uh uh, they want to uh, establish, um, create new laws to make it so that they can uh, call an, uh, an election early. And then not only that, but they want to make it so that they can wash out the Senate and make it almost impossible for independent senators to um, be elected into the Senate. So um, we've got a comment by Penny, uh, Penny Wong. Uh, is that Penny Wong? Uh, she's... Um, She's saying, uh, making a comment about uh, some guy uh, doesn't like the facts. Well, is she talking about the facts with um, the election? Because they've mushed two stories together. Now they're talking about two stories, government, new government laws, and they're going to talk about same-sex uh, marriage. And they've squished them all into one story. So is uh, Penny Wong talking about the, the new Senate laws, the new um, laws to um, wash out the Senate and re-elect all Senate members? and uh, thus um, uh, making it difficult for independent senators to get it? Or is Penny Wan talking about uh, same-sex marriage? And then to make matters worse, right after that, uh, in the report, in the news report, um, we got a guy talking about, oh, what's his name? Um, talking about uh, Glenn Lazarus. He's talking about uh, getting rid of, uh, he says it's about getting rid of the cross bench because we are exposing the big parties for what they really are. So we got two statements there. We have no idea. Well, we know what uh, Glenn Lazarus is talking about, but we have no idea what Penny uh, Long is talking about. Penny Wong is talking about. So, not a really good idea to squish to an emotionally charged story like same sex marriage in with another story about government creating new laws. Okay, so uh, Matthias Corman says the future uh, of the Senate election results truly reflect the will of the Australian people. That's why he wants to create these new laws, so that they truly reflect the will of the Australian people. But I'm sorry, you can't really reflect the will of the Australian people because you haven't educated the Australian people. And you're not educating the Australian people with really crap news reporting like this. And when every single news story is completely monopolized by a single agenda, by a single opinion, by a single point of view, and there is absolutely no opposition uh, to speak of that voices anything even remotely um, similar to reality, then that is not educating the population. What you want to do, Mr. Uh, Matthias Corman, is you want the Australian people to be dummied down. You want them to be stupefied. You want them to be so busy with their day-to-day -day life and they're so exhausted when they come home from work and so confused by your stupid news broadcast reporting this is an abc or sbs uh channel but it's the same thing in abc uh which is supposed to be government uh regulated funded uh people can't make choices uh based on that information that you're giving them so i'm sorry uh, the Australian people are not making educated choices. They're not being educated by the media. The media is not giving them all the information. And then right after that, uh, uh, Labour Party, um, Penny Wong says, Labour, uh, here, she, uh, let me see. This bill, uh, the Labour uh, opposes this bill because it is wrong for the Australian democracy. 
of course it's wrong for Australian democracy. You're, you're, you're empowering one group of people, the group, um, the party in power, to allow an election vote early, and you're allowing uh, the, um, the re-election of Senate members, making um, the whitewashing of all Senate members, washing them out and re-electing all Senate members, making it very difficult for independents. Um, yeah, so it sounds like to me, like you just want a conglomerate, you want one single power. Forget the opposition. Is there even an opposition now? I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't think there is. So you have one power. You have one um, group making the laws that they want to make. And and it's a religiously um, fired group. Um, uh, we uh, have uh, a Christian influence in the Australian government that can't be denied. Premier of New South Wales, um, Mike Berry, is an Anglican. Uh, the previous um, um, head of the country... Tony Abbott, his advisor for security issues was Rufus, Rufus Black, and he's an Anglican. And uh, these people have an agenda in mind, and um, they're pushing laws, metadata, the metadata retention laws included, and the public did not know about that. So I'm sorry, the public is not being made aware uh, by the media, and the media is not being allowed to do their job, or they're not doing their job. Of educating the public properly so that they can make educated election decisions and so that they can edu um, make educated um, election choices to actually vote for the people that actually should be empowered if there is even such a thing. The timing of the federal budget and the election is no more clear tonight than it was at the start of the week. The passing of the Senate reform bill will mean it's possible for the government to call an early double dissolution election allow a vote for an entirely new Senate, but increasingly in government circles there's discussion about whether or not this is the best course of action, because policies aren't out there ready yet for a campaign. It's really a problem of a lack of clarity. At the moment it's unclear.